Hey guys, so today I have this really nice purple mauve kind of pinkish eye with for you with a like really nice slaying winged eyeliner. And if you want to know how to achieve this look, keep watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys, love you. <laughs> hey guys, so here I'm taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm just priming my eyelids with this all over both eyes. I really love this eyeshadow primer. It makes my eye makeup last all day flawlessly. So I'm just patting that in on both eyes. Making sure it's all over both. Make sure to get it all over the and bottom lash line. Sorry, I have a really bad cold if you can hear me sniffling. <laughs> So yep, I'm just making sure that's all over my lid, patting it in and making sure it's all blended in to the skin. So now I'm taking my Too Faced Stardust palette in the shade in the lightest white shade in the palette and patting that all over the lid to set the eyeshadow primer, bringing it all over to the eyelid, all the way up to the brow bone, and I'm just using this on a flat shadow brush. This is the Sephora one. I got it in like some holiday pack I got. So I'm just going to pat that all over the lid. And now I'm taking that in between shade, in between the darker shade and the lightest shade on the top row, and just building this up in my crease as a transition shade on my It Cosmetics Flawless Crease Brush and just blending that into my crease to add a really nice warm transition color for the other colors we're going to go in with. I really love this eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm sorry if you guys, I'm sorry if it's still not available, but it was like a holiday collection, but you could always substitute these shadows. So I'm just building it up in both creases, making sure it's even, going back in and just redefining making sure both eyes are even and look nice so now I am going to take that reddish tone shade and I'm just gonna put this right on the edges of my eyes just on the outer V of the eye and slowly bringing it in into the crease but like just lower than that transition color and try to keep it focused on the outer V of the eye just like that just make sure it's focused on the outer V of the eye and don't bring it in too far because this is just going to add really nice depth on the outer part of the eye and make your eyes look really nice and kind of contoured. So I'm just making sure both eyes are even, doing the same thing to both eyes. So I'm just doing the same to both eyes, making sure it's only on the outer V of the eye. Making sure both eyes are even and flawless. I'm so ex I'm literally so excited for spring break. It's going to be so fun. Um, we're going to plan a couple vacations. And yeah, I'm so excited for the nice weather to hopefully finally come. And so now I'm going to take this deep purple shade called Double Tap on the last row of the palette. And I'm just going to put this right in front of that last color we put in the outer V. Mm -hmm. Just put this right in the outer V corner. Just like that. This is really going to add some like really nice purple depth and tart, like start kind of working into like that, like, plummy pink pearl look we're going for
just like that. And now I'm going to go back in with that same crease brush by It Cosmetics and slowly just blend that in so that it, the, all the colors just kind of fade together. Now I'm taking the shade Pink Pearl. It's this glittery pink champagne -y color. And putting this all over half my lid. And just until you reach the outer V, this is really going to add some really nice shimmer to the look. And I absolutely love this color. Oh, and by the way, if you want to know um, my foundation I used in this, it is on my last video. And just watch that. And this is that same foundation I used in this video. So I'm just going to... Now I'm just taking that same flawless crease brush and really just blending out the outer V so it kind of fades into that glitter nicely. And I'm singing along to the music. And now I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner. And I'm going to take that on an angle brush. And minimal product is the key. And I'm just going to start creating that fierce winged eyeliner that will go perfect with this look. And of course you could just stop here and put some mascara on, but I wanted a nice winged eyeliner to go with this look to add some drama and fierce and make it like the eye look really fierce and nice because this is a pretty high glam look. So I'm just building that winged eyeliner. Today I went for more of a dramatic wing. And now I'm just going over it with my Kat Von D liquid liner and I'm just going over the gel and I really love this because it really makes it look nice and really smooth and it's just the perfect trick for smoothing out the gel liner and this one is really black and it's Trooper in the ink liner by Kat Von D and it makes it really black and it really makes it stay all day long so I'm just connecting that from I'm just connecting that from the wing to the inner corner of the eye like this. And I finished my makeup and here is the finished look. I absolutely love this look. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. And comment if you like these type of tutorials because I'm down to do more. And just let me know what other videos I should do. Thanks guys. Love you.